Well, good evening, Holy Trinity, and welcome to evening prayer. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, we're praying from our nave here at Holy Trinity because uh, we're celebrating the eve of the Holy Cross today, and I wanted to make sure that we had uh, at least one cross in the background um, as we pray. So we'll go ahead and get started with uh, a sentence of scripture and then the confession on page 116 in your prayer book. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. <clears throat> o God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, let's sing this together. If you have a hymnal handy, we're going to do uh, hymn 25, <clears throat> the old Talus Canon version, hymn 25, O oh, gracious light. Psalms appointed for tonight are Psalms 46 and 87. So Psalm 46 starts on page 649 in your prayer book. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth be moved and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea. Though its waters rage and foam and though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be overthrown. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations make much ado and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things he has done on earth. 
It is he who makes war to cease in all the world. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Now let's turn over to page 711, 711 for Psalm 87. On the holy mountain stands the city he has founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. I count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold, Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia, in Zion were they born. Of Zion it shall be said, everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record as he enrolls the peoples. These also were born there, and the singers and the dancers will say, all my fresh springs are in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verses 22 to verse 30. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel, and spread out his hands to heaven. He said, O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenant and steadfast love for your servants who walk before you with all their heart, the covenant that you kept for your servant, my father David, as you declared to him. You promised with your mouth and have this day fulfilled with your hand. Therefore, O Lord, God of Israel, keep for your servant my father David that, that which you promised him, saying, there shall, never, uh, there shall never fail you a successor before me to sit on the throne of Israel. If only your children look to their way to walk before me as you have walked before, as you have walked before me. Excuse me. Therefore, O God of Israel, let your word be confirmed, which you promised to your servant, my father David. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Even heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, much less this house that I have built. Regard your servant's prayer and his plea, O Lord my God, heeding the cry and the prayer that your servant prays to you today that your eyes may be open night and day towards this house, the place of which you said, my name shall be there, that you may heed the prayer that your servant prays towards this place. Hear the plea of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Oh, hear in heaven your dwelling place. Heed and forgive. Here ends the reading. Let's sing the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. We'll do a different version from last week. Uh, if you have a hymnal handy, we'll go to page S242 in the service music part. S242. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generation will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. 
He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading tonight comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. This is chapter 2, verses 11 through 22. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one, and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to, the, to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as a cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Here ends the reading. Let's respond with the new Dominus, the song of Simeon, found on S253, page S. 253. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen.
Apostles' Creed is found on page 96 in your prayer book. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Cyprian and the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross that he might draw the whole world to himself, mercifully grant that we, who glory in the mystery of our redemption, may have grace to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love, amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and people everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Let's sing a good cross hymn. I was thinking number 474, I believe. Make sure that's right. 474, there's a couple of cross hymns right in that area of the hymnal. 474 is when I survey the wondrous cross. We sing this in church uh, with a couple of different texts. We sing this tune, but it's definitely a winner. All right, let's try this. 474. Glory died 
for singing along with me. I can hear you. I promise I can hear you. Let's have a moment here for our own intercessions, our own prayers, however you feel moved to speak to God tonight, to ask God questions, to reach out to God, to thank God, whatever it is on your heart. Um, we'll just allow a few moments for your own prayers. Gracious God of immeasurable love, we thank you for allowing us this time to pray together. We thank you for allowing us to reach out to each other and to you, even if we're not in the same room. We thank you for the technology that allows us to do this, and we thank you for the strength in our hearts to continue to pray. Lord, we pray that you hear all those petitions that we raise, that you hear all those things that weigh heavily on our hearts, all those things we are grateful for, all those ways that we need you in particular right now. God, we pray that you continue to make good your promises, that you continue to be a comforter, that you continue to be a healer, that you continue to be Alpha and Omega, to be our all in all, our complete hearts. God, be with those who need your protection. Be with all those that need your healing. Allow us to come closer to you in prayer and allow us to come closer to you in every action and every conversation, every way that we interact with your kingdom. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray the prayer of St. Chrysostom, found on page 102 in your prayer book. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. As always, it's a joy and an honor to be able to pray with you all, even if it's through this screen. 
Thank you for praying. Thank you for being here. Keep praying. It matters. It really does. And um, I hope to see you at worship or online or somewhere in God's kingdom. All right. See you all later. Be blessed.